Hello and welcome to this video in which we will look at making an Om mandala using dot art and acrylic colors. Here is a list of materials that I have used. Plywood, flat brush, paint primer, sponge roller and a variety of acrylic colors. We also need tools for dotting, gems for decoration and charcoal pencils etc. We will also talk about these materials in details as we move further in the project. First, I took a plywood of size 14 by 14 inch of half inch thickness. In order to have a smooth working base, I applied two layers of primer. You can use any brand of primer for wood. I then applied the first layer of red acrylic color with a brush, but noticed a lot of streaks. So I decided to use a sponge roller for the next layers of the red acrylic color and got a perfect smooth finish. Our base is now ready. I then used a white charcoal pencil and divided the whole board into four sections and then into eight sections. Then I drew a circle in the center and drew the ohm into the center. Next, I drew some concentric circles as guidelines for drawing eight eight lotus petals in three layers. I filled the ohm with yellow acrylic color using a round thin brush with caution. Now it's time to put some dots on the art. I used nail art tools for smaller dots and the base of the crochet hooks for the bigger dots. I have added the link of these tools in the description below. You can use transfer punch set or wooden dowels or regular dotting tools for making dots. Here I wanted to try something different which is why I filled the first layer of lotus petals with gold color but then I covered it with the lightest pink. For the second layer I used medium pink and for the third layer I applied deep pink. I left spaces for the border and I used many different brand acrylic colors like Liquitex, Martha Stewart, Amer Americana Deco. But one common thing between all these brands was that they all are the multi-surface colors. Then I filled all the borders with metallic golden color using a thin round brush. And now it's time to apply some more dots. I used different size dotting tools to get different size dots, as you can see in this video. You can change these colors according to your taste or depending on where you intend to place this. So now we are done with all dots. Leave the artwork for a night to dry well and next day it is all the white lines with wet cotton buds or q-tips. It's now time for the most fun part, the decoration. Yes, I used gemstones for this purpose. I used pink stones for the center and crystal clear and red for the outer area with the glue pen. At last, I used acrylic sealer spray to protect my artwork. Always use a spray in open area. I hope you enjoyed the whole process. If you end up making this mandala, leave a comment and post your image in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay connected with me and to easily find the new videos I upload.